Hello and welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Our topic for today is graphical solution of system of linear inequalities in two variables. In this tutorial video, you will be able to solve a system of linear inequalities in two variables graphically. These are the steps in solving system of linear inequalities by graphing. So we have step number one, solve the inequality for y. Follow the slope-intercept form such that y is equal to mx plus v. Number two, treat the inequality as a linear equation and graph the line as either a solid line or a dashed line depending on the inequality sign. Number three, shade the region that satisfies the inequality. Number four is repeats steps one to three for each inequality. And finally, the solution set will be the overlapping region of all the inequalities. So let's have example number one. Determine the solution to the following system of inequalities. We have 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10. And the other one is 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. So step number one, solve for the inequality for y. So we have, okay, we will let y is equal to mx plus b such that 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10. So it will become 5x minus 2y is equal to 10 because in our step number two, we treat inequality as a linear equation. Then solve, okay, in slope intercept form. So we have negative 2y. Then the moment that we will transfer positive x to the other side, it will become negative 5x plus 10. Then, Divide both sides by negative 2. So we have y is equal to 5x minus 5. Such that our y-intercept is equal to negative 5 and our slope is 5 over 2. From this equation, 5 over 2 is our n. Next, so we have the Cartesian plane. So we have here negative 5. It means this is the y-intercept. So... The y-intercept is at 0, negative 5. Next, so we will use our rate or our slope. So uh, slope meaning to say rise over run. So we will have 5 ups. So we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2 rights. So we have here at 2, 0. Then we will connect the two points. Since this is less than or equal to, we will use the solid line. Our next step is step number three. So we have, we will shade the region. Since we have here already a line that will connect 0, negative 5, and 2, 0. So we will have now our test points for the region 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10. So again, we will let have, okay, 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10. Then we will substitute the value of x which is equal to 0 and the value of y is equal to 0. So simplifying it further, so we have 0, okay, minus 0 because 5 times 0 is 0 and 2 times 0 is 0. Is it less than or equal to 10? So, 0 is less than or equal to 10. So, this is actually true. So, therefore, we will shade, okay, this part at 0, 0. For our step number 4 is we will repeat the steps 1 to 3. This time, you know, inequality 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. Again, so we will let, okay, y is equal to mx plus b. So, this is we will solve for the inequality for y such that we have 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. So, we will have this one as 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 because we will treat the inequality as linear equation. Okay, solving for y, okay, we subtract both sides by negative 3, so we come up with 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Then divide both sides by 2, okay, 
So y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 3 because 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. This time, so uh, the value of b is equal to 3 and the value of m is equal to negative 3 over 2. Now, if we will use, okay, the Cartesian plane, so since our, okay, y-intercept is at 3, or that is equal to 0, 3. Next, our slope is negative 3 over 2, so it means that we will move down, okay, 3, okay, steps down, so because we have, okay, down, negative 3, so we have 1, 2, 3, and 2 right, so 1, 2. So, the coordinate is actually at 2, 0. The next thing is we will connect this with dashed line because this is actually inequality or greater than only. Our next step is to shade the region. In order to shade the region for the inequality 3x plus 2y is greater than 6, we will have the test point at 0, 0. So, again, so we have 3x plus 2y is greater than 6 so we will substitute for x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so we have 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0 is, is it greater than 10 so by solving so we have 0 plus 0 is it greater than 10 so we found out that 0 is greater than 10 is actually a false statement so therefore on our okay all okay, right graph so 0 is not included E or 0, 0 is not included for the shaded region. So, this is actually the shaded region part. Alright, for our steps number 4 and 5 to determine the solution of the system of inequality, we have number 4 is to repeat steps 1 to 3 for each inequality that we have done for 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10 as well as 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. And number 5 is the solution set will be the overlapping region of all the inequalities. Let's recall, so this is the region for 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10, while this is the region of 3x plus 2y is greater than 6. Then we will have the overlapping regions. So therefore, this is actually the solution set for the system of inequality. To determine whether the given ordered pairs are solutions to the system, Substitute the x and y values to the given system of linear inequalities. Say, for instance, we have the coordinates 2, 3. So, in inequality 5x minus 2y is less than or equal to 10, we will substitute the values of, of x and y respectively. So, we have 5 times 2 minus 2 times 3. Is it less than or equal to 10? Then we have 10 minus 6 is less than or equal to 10. So, 4 is less than or equal to 10. So this is true. On the other inequality, we have 3x plus 2y. Is it greater than 6? By substituting okay, 2 and 3 for the value of x and y respectively. So we have 6 plus 6. Is it greater than 6? So we have 12 is greater than 6. So this is true. So in our graphical form, so this is actually the point 2, 3. So therefore, we can say that 2, 3 is one of the solutions to the system. So let's have at point 0, 0. So we have the inequality 5x minus 2y. Is it less than or equal to 0? Then substitute the value of x and y respectively. So we have 5 times 0 minus 2 times 0 is less than or equal to 10. So we have 0 is less than or equal to 10 which is actually a true statement. On the other inequality, we have 3x plus 2y. Is it greater than 6? Substitute the value of, of x and y respectively, which are 0, 0. So we have 3 times 0 plus 2 times 0. Is it greater than 6? So we found out that 0 is greater than 6 it is a false statement. From our graphical form, we can say that this is the origin or this is the 0, 0. So therefore, 0, 0 is not one of the solutions to the system because it does not satisfy both inequalities. 
let's have example number 2. We have x plus y is greater than or equal to 2. And we have x minus y is greater than 3. So again, so we'll solve for the inequality for y. So we will use the slope intercept form of y is equal to mx plus b. So we have x plus y is greater than or equal to 2. Next is we will treat the inequality as linear equation. So we have x plus y is equal to 2. Next, we have, okay, we will subtract both sides of the equation by uh, x. So what we have is y is equal to negative x plus 2. So therefore, that our um, y-intercept is equal to 2. So that is why b is equal to 2. Next, our slope here is negative 1. But I can express this one as negative 1 over 1. Again, on our graphical form, so we have 2, 0 as our okay, y-intercept. Then if we have negative 1 or negative 1 over 1, it means that okay, we will move up one step, okay, one step up and one step to the left. So rise over run. So we have the coordinate as 1, 1 then we will connect the two points. This time, we will use a solid line. Okay, so the step number three is shade region. So we have the plus point at zero, zero. So we have x plus one is greater than or equal to two. So we have zero plus zero is greater than or equal to two. Then we have zero is greater than equal to two is a false statement. Now, if we will look back on our graph, so we have here 0, 0. It means that this part is not actually a part of the shaded region. It means that we will shade the upper part, so here. So therefore, we have this graph. For our step number 4 is we will repeat the steps 1 to 3 for inequality x minus y is greater than 3. Again, for step number one, so we will solve for the inequality of y. So we will let y is equal to mx plus b as slope intercept form. Let's consider x minus y is greater than 3. And we will treat this one as linear equation. So it means that x minus y is equal to 3. Next one. So if we will subtract both sides of the equation by x, so we come up with negative y is equal to negative x plus 3. Or, if we will multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1, we come up with y is equal to x minus 3. It means that, okay, b is equal to negative 3. It means this is our, okay, y-intercept while our, okay, while our uh, slope is equal to 1. So, but 1 can be expressed as 1 over 1. Again, using our graph, so our y-intercept is equal to 0, negative 3. Then our slope is 1, 1. It means that we will go up, 1 up, and 1 right. So again, slope means rise over right. So we have at 1, negative 2 as the second coordinates then. We will connect the two points using the dashed line because we have inequality of greater than. So let's have the shaded region. So for our step number three, so again, we will use the test point at 0, 0. So we have x minus y is greater than 3. Substitute the values of x and y respectively. So we have 0 minus 0 is greater than 3. And we found out the 0 is greater than 3. So it means it is actually a false statement. Now, looking back on our graph, so this is our okay, uh, division line. So this is the line or the dashed line. So we found out that 0, 0 is not actually a part of the solution set. So therefore, we will shade the lower part. So the graph is like this. Since we are all done with steps number 1 to 3 for both inequalities, so for our step number 5 is we will find out the solution set for the overlapping regions of the two inequalities. Recall, so this is the graph of x plus y is greater than 2, and this is the graph of x minus y is greater than 3. 
So we will look for the overlapping region and the graph looks like this. So we can say that this is actually the solution set. Take note that the point 0, 0 for the origin is not a part of the solution set. However, we can say that 5, 0 is a part of the solution set because it's a part of the overlapping of all the inequalities. Again, that ends our lesson. So this is Teacher on the Guzman. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.